This cookbook chapter is almost too stupid to include, but since it's always been a very common use case in my plugin, I still want to explicitly show you how you can find out whether a queue exists or not. This trick not only works for queues, by the way, check out the get last object in range video to see a generalized version of this trick I'm about to show you. But for now, here we go. Let's go over the code quickly and then we'll see it in action in just a second, but it's actually not that big of a deal. And maybe, just maybe, you remember that this was actually part of the example plugin as well. So does this exist? We are going to, first of all, return the main function. That's always a great idea. We are, first of all, getting the executor number, and then we are going to ask for a queue. And then in the next section over here, we are uh, going to assemble this object name. So executor one, q two, three, whatever we enter, and then does exist will return a true or false. And the way that this works is through gma.show.getObject.handle. And once this handle is not nil, we know that this object exists. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. And that's essentially it. So let's copy and paste it over and play around with it. Does Q exist? And now let's take a look. So I think this is nice because this is already selected and this only has two Qs. So let's first check this out. Q number one, it doesn't like that. Okay. So in this case, it doesn't like to output text together with this true or false value. So let me just rewrite this real quick. If does Q exist, then gma.feedback. Ja, er lebt noch. That's an old, really trashy German song. So I'm just going to leave that in here as a reference to all my German viewers. Guten Tag. And gma.feedback, nope, does not exist. And just as a little reminder, since this function over here already returns a true or false value, once I enter this variable into this if then else statement, whatever this value contains, I can just write that, right? Because I could also say if true, then obviously let me know that this object exists. But in this case, we're not entering true because we want to know the real value. So we're just going to use this variable. But since it's already a Boolean value, we can just plug it right into the if then else statement. Alrighty, let's take a look. So again, still, we are on this executor right here. Only two queues exist. So this, yes, it contains the word ja. And you probably know, no matter what language you speak, that that means yes in German. That's perfect. Q number two, yes, exists. Q number three, nope, doesn't exist. And that's essentially this video. I know this is not that surprising, but... Nevertheless, it's a very important part of your cookbook. And if you want to see a really cool, fancy version of this, then check out the video for Get the Last Object in a Range.